Hey everyone, you with Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Well, we're coming up to the end of 2019, so I thought we'd take a look at the last two power bills for my household for this year, between May and November. So, a quick reminder, I live in Sydney, Australia, as the picture suggests. Family of four, Joe and myself have two children. I have a Tesla Powerwall 2 battery, which can hold 13.5 kilowatt hours. We have solar panels, which were upgraded this year in March. We went from 3 kilowatts to 8.4 kilowatts with the addition of an extra 5.4 kilowatts. And just note that we are on an electric car plan with AGL, that's $1 per day. And that's been constant between 2019 bills and 2018 bills, which I will compare with right now. So this is our winter bill uh, between May and August of 2019 and 2018. Let's quickly go through each bracket here. So peak electricity usage was fairly similar. Off-peak usage went down a little bit between 2019 and 2018. That's largely thanks to the extra solar panels that can charge the battery now to full pretty much on most days in winter, whereas in 2018 it couldn't. Shoulders pretty similar, 138, 127. Now interestingly, controlled load has gone down to zero, and that's because I made a little adjustment to how my hot water is powered. So previously I would put my hot water on the controlled load, which is a cheaper tariff. But now in 2019, with the addition of the extra 5.4 kilowatts, it can now easily power my hot water usage. And of course, I now can export a lot more solar energy back to the grid with the extra solar panels. Let's have a look at the spring bill, which is the most recent one between August and November. Let's have a look at each bracket. So again, peak 10 and 14, very similar between the two years. Off peak, just a little bit less usage in 2019. And again, that's probably due to the fact that my extra solar panels can now charge the Powerwall 2 to full on most days in spring, if not all days. Shoulder very similar, 112 versus 99 across the two years. And same thing with the hot water. Now it's uh, solar power during the day. It's now zero in 2019. And as you can see in spring, the extra panels managed to export a lot more energy back to the grid. 1391 in 2019 versus 210 in 2018. So what do these figures mean? And I know you're asking, how much have you actually saved in dollar value? Well, so this is the all important slide. So we've got a running total for the last three bills since the installation of my extra 5.4 kilowatts of solar panels on my roof. We've got spring, winter, and autumn. And as you can see, certainly each bill there has been a saving, some more than others. The spring bill certainly has the biggest savings so far, 234 between the two years. Winter 207, that's a pretty good saving in my opinion because winter is when my family uses the most energy because we have the heating on during the night time for the kids. And autumn we saved 165. So in total so far for nine months of the year between February and November 2019 with the addition of the extra 5.4 kilowatt of solar panels, I've saved $606.86. So what I'm going to do now is wait for this final summer bill, which I'll get round about February, March next year. And then we'll have some real data for a full 12 months when I've had an extra 5.4 kilowatts of solar panels on my roof. And then we can kind of extrapolate what the payback scenario would be compared to how much I paid for that extra 5.4 kilowatts. And then we can analyze the figures from there. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And as always, happy charging.